Hello, Miami. This is Drill Fight Sports Now, your own podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and it has been a busy weekend for the Miami Hurricanes, okay, as they are recruit, as they are hosting some of the top recruits in the country this weekend, guys like David Stone, guys like, you know, like Dylan Stewart, right, as well, and Jared Gibson, right, talented five-star running back as well. And they did, one of the recruits, they did land, okay, they did land four-star, four-star, um, linebacker slash safety out of the lovely state of Alabama out of Theodore High School, Mr. Cameron Pruitt, right? Cameron Pruitt is a flat out beast. If you look at the video, he is listed at six foot three, 187 pounds, about 190 now, from what I've heard as well. He is considered the 48th best safety in the country. He is a, a, a hybrid, right? You could put him at the safety, you could put him also as a linebacker as well. He uh, picked Miami over Alabama. Alabama was hot on his trails, and they uh, weren't able to, uh, to get him. Auburn was another school that was after him. Florida was another school that was after him. And, he, and Arkansas was also after him, and he picks the University of Miami. A great get for Mario Cristobal, all right? And it, also for the fan base, as they've been clamoring for a four- to five-star recruit for a while in the guy, and we got ourselves another one. We got a good one, man. He is, if you look at the video, he is just an absolute Stud, okay, if you look at the statistics of uh, that he had over in his junior year, 99 tackles, 15 of those were for loss, two sacks, three forced fumbles, and one interception. A little bit about this kid, as I've noticed on video and when, from what I've heard as well, is he is a headhunter, okay? This kid is an absolute nasty tackler. He grabs you, you're going down. Hits you with that shoulder, you're going down. Clean, clean fundamentally sound tackler okay so something that uh, a couple of years ago you know we were worried about as far as our football players go on the defensive side the tackling aspect not a problem with this kid okay this kid is a full-blown tackling machine he's not only good at rushing the passer all right he's good at rushing the passer not only good at stopping the run he's also good in coverage right you can use him in coverage hence the whole hybrid athletic thing that he, that he brings to the table right he's an absolute Good at that as well. He won't maul guys as well inside the box. Quarterbacks, beware. If you have a running quarterback, you could track him down. Very good at tackling in space. That's where he kind of reminds me of Malik Bryant. Well, Malik Bryant was is very good at tackling in space. This kid is the same way. The only difference is um, you can put this kid more in coverage, all right, as well. Okay, so he's just a, he's just a flat-out beast. Uh, reminds me a bit of Jason Taylor as far as, you know, rushing the passer goes. You know, that, that, that long... He's long, and his arms are really long, long-legged, quick speed as well. Uh, times is um, uh, time snap uh, is able to time the snap count. Very good in special teams as well. Okay, he was using special teams very well in high school. He was very effective in special teams in terms of recovering onside kicks and making tackles as well. Again, he gets you. You're not going anywhere. Okay, he will bring you down. So that is something that is very good for the University of Miami. That is a very big get for the Canes. And we now see and we know that Miami is trying to build a very strong defensive line. All right. And that includes a good front seven. And that is exactly what they're doing and building linebacker depth as well. The linebacker class was very good last year for the Canes, the 2022 class. Um, um, we're about to see a bit of a, a similarities in terms of the defensive line, right? Miami is going to get that front four very well settled. Remember, Mario Cristobal is about stacking talent and also creating depth for his team. And that is something that, that we're starting to see. And again, I do tell all of you out there, okay, that we're worried because we we're getting these, these four or five-star guys, you know, listen up, okay, listen up. Miami, I guarantee you, okay, or you can yell at me all you want on the comment section, whatever, okay? But I guarantee you, they will probably more than likely have a top 10 class by January, okay? They will probably have a top 10 class by January. I will be doing a story on Ellis Robinson. I wasn't going to do a story on him because of his quick commitment to Georgia. But it seems that if he was to flip, Miami is a guy on the as a team on as the top team on his list. He was here this past Saturday as well. I will be doing one on, on Colin Simmons very soon and a possible cane on very soon. I'll be very busy uh this summer when it comes to recruiting, okay? Um, especially as the NBA season winds down and also hockey winds down as well. I will be doing a lot more Canes football. I will be bringing some interviews as well as I'll be trying to acquire. So just keep in mind uh, of that as well. Be, be mindful of that as well. So I'm going to be very busy covering Canes football and also a little bit of Dolphin football as well. But this was a great get for the Canes. Congratulations on Cameron Pruitt. I do believe we will see much more of a domino effect 
you know, as the summer rolls along, as Miami did do very well last season, you know, in the summer in terms of their recruiting, it also picked up a bit, you know, in the fall as well. All right, everybody, that's it for me. Straight to the point. If you like what you heard, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 305 Sports Now. I am Will. Stay safe. God bless you soon. Go Canes. All about the you. Bye-bye.